Okay, welcome everybody to my channel. My name's Tom. Um, we're going to play a little bit of Railroads Online tonight. server um they have a new engine and a new car uh caboose and new splines the new splines are out so we're gonna take a look and start it's gonna have to start a new game because the new splines do not work with the old splines so it's uh, starting all over again but that's all right We'll, uh, we'll have a ball, make a new track. Um, I have tested this a little bit for another save. We got a new Betsy, uh, looks like the old Betsy. Uh, and of course our, uh, our flat car for logs and stuff. Um, and as you can see, the start is different because the tracks don't go out as far as they used to. Um, when the other, with the other splines. So, that's okay. So, we're going to start. Um, I like to start right here in the middle. So, let's take this and bring up our splines. And as you can see, the old stuff is gone. There's nothing but the new spline stuff left. Um, and because we already have road bed here, rail bed I'm going to use just the rail and I'm going to link and I'm going to go out and you can see how this turns so this makes a nice turn you know and you can adjust it um, you can change the alignment um, to 100 or one where it just does it at one at a time um, so like if you uh, you get the drastic change so we'll put it back on 90 now if you don't want it to turn this is the good thing about the new splines if you don't want to turn it at all if you hit the number five to toggle circle mode it's just going to go straight there's no you can't you can't make it turn at all and it's going to go straight out as far as you want it as far as you can actually see but I don't like to go especially when I'm starting off like this because we're going to be putting in switches and stuff so I like to go out just a little bit because if, if you go clean out there and you hit and you lay that track you hit the actual button to lay the track if you go to delete that you put a, a switch in it will delete everything that you lay so it's good when you know you're going to lay switches and stuff to do it in seconds. So that's as easy as that was. Lay that second down. A little lag there. Okay, and we're going to go quick down again. Keep going out here. And of course, with the new update of the splines, they took a fast movement away, so you can't run as fast as you used to. Um, the other data, so I'm going to, I'm going to say my first switch is going to be about there, so I want to do that, oh, and, and because I've tested this, I know I'm not a big fan of 
we spawned all the way back here. So. mouse wouldn't delay the track or So, another new thing with the new spline um, used to be. So we'll go put a, we're going to put a switch in here, and we need the switch to come back off to the left here. So it used to be. What side do I want? That'll be yeah, that'll be all right because if, if I turn this around, you can turn this whole thing around like that, and I got it on a hundred. So let's change that back to. Change it to 10. So you turn this around, as you can see, you turn this around. That's the way I want my switch off, and it's going to put my, it'll put the switch handle off to the left, and then the, the rail's going to come off to the left. But with this new slide, if I hit the number two, it's going to change the link point. So now the link point is on that rail. Now the link point is on that rail, which is the rail I want it on. So if I hit the mouse button, left mouse button, oh, that attached it. My rail goes off to the left like I want to. My switch is up there on the left. So now I can go up here. And I can come off of this with some track. And again, I'm just going to use the, uh, I'm just going to use the rail because we have rail bed on here and I've left it on circle mode because I want it to go out a little bit. I want it to go out straight just a little bit. Probably about 11 meters there I guess. Because um, if you look up there to the right, you can see something that's locked and tells you the link of how you're setting it, the incline, uh, the radius, the grid, all that information is up there. So, I love this new track lane, uh, the new splines. Uh, there is some downfalls to them. We'll discuss them as we go. Um, but uh, I want to bring this up just a little bit to this side. I want to bring it straight out a little bit. Uh, I mean, you could put a switch up there and you just come down here and link to this, but it would be an angle all the way from where the switch is. So I want to add a little bit of track here. And you see because I spun that around when I set that switch, it spun around. That's okay. You don't have to spin it around. You can spin it back around if you want. Or you can just click here and it's going to go, it'll take off going straight. Well, it's going to take off turning. So let's hit the circle mode. Now it'll take off going straight. I want to come up to about, I guess, right there looks good. I didn't look to see how many meters that was. I'm sure. Um, I'm not even coming from a little more. So I think I will. Um, yeah, it's a little more, maybe about. Alright, let's go. Uh, yeah, right there with the mouse on the right here. So we go 8.9 meters. Go up there and put in our other switch. 
this switch I want to go off to the right. So So I'm laying a switch that I wanted to go off my head up there ahead of me. But we're going to hit the link button. I'm going to try to link it from the neck. Now if I, try, if I hit this right here, it would link it up there. That's why I never try to turn it around. I just leave it on the, the other mode. Um, that's the link I want. So we'll hit the left mouse button. Attach it. And then the right mouse button to get out of the instruction menu. And there we go. We have our other one. This switch is on this side, that switch is on that side, so we know this switch will go on that way. If we get the switch on that side, we're going this way. It's a lot easier. I may have pulled up too far on that. Go, let's go out five meters and then we'll link again and we'll come up here and that may be all right so we're gonna come here and we'll go past it and I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna take off circle mode and then it's gonna add a link and boom and I, I live with that it's not a bad turn no that's not a bad turn I'll live with that Good. That looks good. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now, for future, I am going to lay another switch off to, I want it to go off to the left, so I'm going to lay it off to, so I'm going to use the right switch. And of course, we have to change the link point. That's the new link point. I'm going to lay it right there. I want that so that in the future, I can go off right here uh, behind my station here station house here and uh, play, maybe have a yard back here a rail yard or something because uh, off to oh the distance or the direction I'm looking right here off that way is the oil field That a little bit the, uh, 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 the iron might be the iron and then if we go off this way up over that hill the we coal mine So here, I got my switch going off of that way for future use. So we want to go up here to the end of this rail bed, and then we're going to have to start adding rail bed. Um, but then we're going to go up and curve around a little bit and come back to the warehouse here. So let's, uh, let's put a little, a little bit more rail in here. circle mode so we can go straight to right there you can see back up a little bit you see how it kind of drops off a little bit right there all right about there is the end of our rail bed so I'm gonna go we'll back up a little bit maybe to 
there. It kind of starts sloping down there. So that's the end of our rail bed. So we're going to uh, go here. And now we're going to go with our three feet rail. And this determines how how high your rail bed is going to be with the track on top of it because this will automatically lay rail bed and track at the same time. So that's the, one of the differences of the new spline and the old spline. If you click on this, it will lay rail bed and so you can see the rail bed too. So we'll go to that. You, see, you can see it's laying rail bed too um, and rails. So we're going to go out pretty good ways here, straight out. I, I like to keep my track as straight as possible. So I'm going to put it straight out here in a good ways. And then if you want, you can look at the map and see if I climb up here on my rail and point straight ahead, you can see which way the which way the rail is going to go. I'm getting pretty close to the point where I want to turn right because I want it to go that way. You can see the little arrow on the map. I want it to turn up and go that way. So I'm going to close off my map here. I'm going to jump off of here so I don't get stuck in this bed. And I'm going to go about right there. And right here, I think, is where I want to put my switch because there's the. Uh, warehouse back there so I want that rail to come up right here and connect right here so I'm going to put a switch right here and of course it's going to be one of those reverse switches again um, off to the left so I'm using switch to the right and I want my switch to be off to the left too so I'm using this switch one switch two would put my switch off to the right see I'll switch it over to the right I like the fact that if the track is going to the, that the switch be on the same side of the track that the rail is going to go, that the switch is going to take you, if that makes sense. So we'll add that right there, and it automatically builds it at the height that you're, you're building. So you see, you, you will build it that height, so that automatically builds it that height. When we was building on that existing rail bed, it automatically, the switch is automatically built to the height of the rail bed. So. thousand dollars and 230 XP. Uh, let's get my uh, get my saw back. So we're here and okay so that's good that's gonna be a good so I'm gonna take off here might not be where I want that switch but I'll, I'll I think I want to leave the switch there because I can use it but that might not be 
Well, yeah, it can. That'll be good. I think that'll be good. So let's, uh, let's come up with this 3P rail, rail 1, because we've still not, you know, come up here about carrying that, I guess. And then I'm going to put in another switch going off to the to the right to go on the other side of the warehouse. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put in another switch here. Going off to the right. So as you can see it's trying to do that. So we have to change this to the link point. There we go. We gotta do the link point. And the switch is going to the right and the track's going to the right. The switch is on the right side. That's the way I I don't like I'm gonna keep it so we will lay that one. I think this one is going to go down there and maybe connect to that other switch that comes off that I put down there to start maybe the rail yard. And this one here will go to the warehouse. And I, but I think I want to put another switch here. So uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. I want to put another switch there. I think that'll work. So then I'm going to come here. And I'm going to show you with this new spline how easy it is to get tracked straight and level. Try that. So, if you want to get your track, um, I hit the wrong button. So, if you want to get your track to be even, if you get it there and you see that that's even, that's pretty close to being lined up there, right? And if you look up at the alignment, it's at 270. So 270, you got 90, 180, 270, 360. That's, that's dead 90 degrees of a circle. So 270 is going to be a 90 degree of a circle. So that's going to be straight alongside that. Now you do have to come out away from that, a ways. right about there and on your track and as you can see that track is the same distance from that all the way down there. that's the same distance Did that? I was trying to do something I was trying to explain anyway. That is too close. Um, you get a train on there, and the cars are going to be rubbing up against that deck. So you're going to have to do that again. So let's get that off the rail. So I'm going to be the same distance. I don't want to come away from that just about maybe that far. Oh, it's going the wrong way. <laughs> that you do have to turn it around and you have to go down to the other end. So I'm going to Track, uh, three feet rail one. I want to come away about 
that far from the deck. Hit the left mouse button, and as you see, again, it's it's the same distance from the deck all the way down, all the way down. Step off here so I don't get caught in the bed. Hit the left mouse button, and there I have a perfect straight track aligned perfectly with that deck. See how it's turning. It's turning when you get way up here. I can jump up on this. But all I do is take off circle mode and then we are out with straight. And then we have track. Perfectly straight track. Same distance. All the way down that from the, from the deck. That's perfect.
and I can either run another switch off that way, or I can go up on here and make a turn. And we're going to have to lay some more bed out when we get down another switch. So. Screenshot of that and send it to the developer to find out what that's all about. So that is yep. Think we are so let's delete it, delete that. Um, I want to go ahead and delete that. I think I came off to 10 meters. Let's come off of this, put our circle mode back on. Let's come off of this 20 meters. Seven is as close as we're gonna get. And we'll put in our back and switch. Get rid of some trees. Oh, I just turned the switch. I'm trying to cut down this tree. Better, much is better. So we'll come off this now. Wing, and we'll come off straight. Great 
for a while. Careful move. And you can see how far that laid. That is much better. You could only lay like, I don't know, 10 or so at a time there. And this you can just go and go and go. This switch in there because I do want to come off of here and go that way. But this here, I can just, can just uh, link these two up right here. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's much better. We'll come back and build this stuff up and build this yard later on. Let's continue on to. Uh, See if we can get to our sawmill and then to our or uh, to our get yeah get to the uh, sawmill and then to the logging camp. So we come off of here and we're gonna go take it off circle mode because I am fixing to turn. Soft circle mode. We're fixing the turn, turn, turn. I'm going back around there. Uh, looks like a nice turn there. We'll go with that. Nice little smooth turn there. Take this tree out. Okay, you see, I tried, was trying to click and it wouldn't let me. So, let's 
telling me that that road bed wasn't high enough, so we're going to have to go to road to the third one here, or second one here, and now when I link it should, yeah, that's what it was. The road bed wasn't high enough, so the terrain changed on me, and the road bed got a little bit too too low. So I think I'll sh I don't know if I can show you what that looks like. Yeah, well, I got to get off of that one. So let's go back to this one and see if I can show you what that looks like. I don't know, it looks like it's touching the ground, so I don't know why. If the road bed gets too high off the, the, the terrain, it doesn't doesn't go all the way down and attach to the terrain. I guess is how you say it. Then you have to switch to either two or three. Um, you usually get away with two. Um, take a look at the map, and see which way I'm going. Okay, I cut it back a little bit too far, but we can with that. We'll just click on that and go straight for a while. You can see this, there's a little mound there off to my left, right there where the R and E are and Freight Depot. I want to get just above that mound a little bit and then cut back in there. And you can make a big yard in between that little mound and that big mountain. It's off to the left, so um, we'll go up a little ways here. Go up here and see where we're at on the map. Start making shorter, shorter segments so we can put switches in later. Um, yeah, go up a little more. Great. 
where I want to switch it to the modified. I go off to my left. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep putting short segments in for now. So you can put a long segment and then erase it and lay all that track all over again. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do that. point here I'm gonna have to turn back to the right so I'm gonna go one more short segment right there oh I'm still pretty good I think I... For another short segment track to be as straight as possible. Um, Thanks for a better ride for your engine. Like to, there's a little hill right in front of me. If you see on the map there, there's a little hill right in front of me on the left hand side there. The small hill jetting out from that big hill. Right around the end of that hill, I want to make a turn to the left and go up sort of to the uh, kind of angle out and head toward that big, go left a little bit toward that big mountain. And around that other little hill, it's jetting out and then catch that and circle back around to the organ camp and then make a wide from there going off to the sawmill so I'm going to keep playing short sections here and I might put some uh, a wide section here somewhere to go to the sawmill and to the organ camp so, um, so I said if you want to where I want to turn this is I think where I want to turn so I'm going to go ahead and put a switch in here I think I should have put the switch back there this is why you put small segments in I was getting ready to say if you know you're going to put in switches or you think that in the future you may put in some switches then you uh you need to put in small segments of track so that you don't delete your whole track when you're putting in switches. But we will see here. I don't know if I put in if I put in a switch right now, a switch is gonna go into the ground. I bet you I'd almost bet on it. close though. So then I need to come off here. I want to come off here straight. I'm going to have to bring this up. So I'm going to put my incline up 2% and that's still going off of the ground. So now I can't bring my incline up, up to get off of the ground. So that's why I want my switch further back.
far enough up off the ground where this new line coming off this way, this new track coming off this way, will be high enough so that I can take it up here. coming up. See, now you start coming up there, so we'll go up. That's two, two five percent. Let me see if I need to turn yet. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but I did. Well, let's go back to our track. I think I need to turn it. That's why. I need to start making a bigger turn. So I'm gonna come off this about 10 meters and then I'm gonna start a turn. I always like to come off my X, which is a, uh, a good place before I, before I start turning my track. I like to come off straight. Start our turn. So we take off circle mode. We want to start turning to the right. You see how it's still kind of turning to the left? So I want to get it turned to the right. We'll go about a 60 degree turn here. And then we'll see how far we can go for a 60 degree turn. Take a look at the map where I'm at. I need to go over this way some more. See how it's, uh, it's kind of off the ground there. That squat there. Uh, yeah, see how it's off the ground? So, we need to go back here. We need to put. Put it on uh, track on the two, the number two track. To see if we get. Uh, be a little bit too high off the ground to lay it. It's over there, so we'll try three foot rail number two. And we got too far. I'm gonna go right there. I'm gonna lay that and go to the end of it. See what looks like. Turn it a good bit. This is where I think I want my switch. I put that switch back there, but I, you know it'd be better probably to have it right here. I switch off to the left there. I'm gonna put one here just in case. So if I don't need it, I can always take it off. So I'm gonna take this and go off to the left. Very nice. See how it kept the height, same height as the other road bed? That's, I love that with this moose flying. So this, if this goes off to see at the end of it, look at our map, see which way it's pointing. Oh, that'd be nice. That's nice, yeah. And then we'll go right around the end of that little hill there that's on my left-hand side in between those two hills, and then on the right, go in between those two hills and come back around to the sawmill. That's perfect. So, get rid of our map here. Get rid of this tree. And turn our spline on here. And I really like to. Where are we 
add on our recording time. I'd like to get to the sawmill. That just hits great. Let's see what goes. No, I'm going to have to turn a little bit. Yes, lessons learned. It's going to be easier here if we, if we cut down our trees first. I don't like how that's turning that way, so turn it some more. Let's go 75 degrees. One more. Off. Like that. Let's see what that looks like. There's the sawmill. You can see it. Straight ahead of me, the sticking up. I still need to turn some more because I'm headed straight for that little hill. <sighs> that edge cut again. So I'm gonna stay with the two. And I'm gonna turn it. See how the end of the track I wish it would stay. changes a whole lot. bed that high. I'm, I've seen it so but I don't like it that high so I'm gonna kind of lower it but I'm gonna go back some more because I want to turn this off just a little bit more to the right side over there. I want it to go a little bit more right. Thank you. 
drop this down. Well, that's why it's doing that. Okay, let's go back. All this time I had it still rising. Try it without without the rise I need to go to real bed number two. Yeah, there's an incline down. So that's why that was so high too, because I let that incline increase at two percent. So it was rising. Boy, that tree flew way over there. It's still going. Come back and get these later. They're not in my way of my view. That one is. what I meant about how far you could go. You can go a long way with this track. You can go forever. So let's see where I'm at on the map. So I'm almost to that little hill. And I can kind of see it. You can kind of see the little incline there on the left, so if I just keep going straight to go around it just a little bit. Just do semi short segments for now. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we need to go bring this up to go this way. to get this connected back to the track call it, call it an episode that other track right over there something super right over there we're gonna go all the way around and see the end I see it, I see it, so we're just going to go here and we're going to take off circle mode and go straight for a while until we run into the track again and then we'll put a switch in right there and we'll call it an episode guys. We have made it, officially made it to the sawmill. We'll call that episode done. Come on, cut it, cut it. Close we are there. Okay, we're pretty close, so we can go straight ahead here. This will give us an idea where we want to put our switch in. So, let's cut down this tree here. And let's see if we can get rid of this little section of track and see what it gives us. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'd say that's real good. So I'd say if we put a switch in here. We'll put 
to switch off to that way. I can live with that so we'll take this tree out here and we will connect this here back We'll call that an uh, episode. This one here. See where we're going. Doesn't need to be there. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that one. far for the curve so we can get rid of that one and I think this is gonna be it this is perfect when we started our turn there we're gonna start our turn here going the other way so I'll go ahead and start this like guys and then I'm gonna cut this and call this an episode so we'll look at our map see which way we're pointing we're gonna curve right on around there and to the left and head toward the logging camp from here so we will call that an episode guys thank you for watching uh, like subscribe and share um, really helps the videos out a lot and I will see you in the next one. I'll probably cut some of these trees down off camera. Pretty this thing up a little bit. In the next episode, we will continue on. Get rid of this. In the next episode, we will continue on to the logging camp. And then we'll get some trains going and run a train from the logging camp to the sawmill. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Run from the mill to the sawmill. To the sawmill, start making a little bit of money and see if we can buy some of these new, uh, some, some trains, some new trains and stuff. Well, oh, before we go, I did want to show you, uh, I almost forgot about the new train and the new car. So, let's go back. Um, as 
quite hard for uh, uh, logs and steel pipes. Uh, there's a uh, flat car for lumber, raw iron, and rail beams. And it's a cordwood and oil bale car, flat car. There's our iron, iron, coal, iron ore and coal cars. Uh, of course, the oil, crude oil tanker. Um, there's our box car. Uh, there is fiber caboose. There is a PSP and P weight car. It has the same amenities as the other caboose has in it. So now we have two beasts. Put it in. And of course, everybody's seen the hand car. And check the quarter. First, but I may buy this one first. Um, it's a little bit less tractor force than the Eureka. Uh, the Eureka has 6600 tractor force effort. Um, of course, the uh, market gun is only 4200 tractor effort. But this wouldn't be a bad car to haul log number log from, from the sawmill to the number mill. So, um, so we'll, we may buy this one um, as soon as we haul enough logs to make enough money to buy it. Um, maybe we can do that next episode. So thanks guys for watching. Let's say like, like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you on the next one. Have a good night, guys. Good day.